Hello, I'm Larry Hinckley, Senior Technical Advisor for PowerWash.com. We're taking a look at this RK8035D hot water pressure washer. It's eight gallons a minute at 3,500 PSI. It's powered by a three-cylinder, 26 horsepower Kohler diesel engine. The pump is a General TSF 2021. So as you can see, we use nothing but the top quality components. It has twin 15-gallon diesel tanks. That's because you have a diesel engine and a diesel burner. So you can go with one type of fuel. You don't have to change. This is a marine style battery box. Battery charging problems are history because you got a 45 amp alternator charging your battery, so you have no problem with that. As you can see, everything's easy to get to. This is a water-cooled engine. So the only thing you have to be certain of is just as you would in your vehicle, you have to be certain that it, this engine's antifreeze also. And you do that just by upgrading your engine coolant each year. Over here on the control panel, you note that the spray tips are mounted. It comes with five spray tips right here. Uh, this thing is going to be set up, is set up for a two gun operation. So you can either run two guns at four gallons a minute at 3,500 PSI, or you can run one gun at four gallons a minute at 3,500 PSI, or you can run one gun at eight gallons a minute at 3,500 PSI. But the control panel will only hold five nozzles, so I'm thinking you will probably utilize the five most commonly used nozzles up here. The rest of them you'd want to keep in your toolbox. Also on this control panel, you'll find your burner on off switch. And your thermostat. And here is your engine throttle. This controls your engine speed. Note, the pressure gauge is mounted on the head of the pump so you can monitor the water pressure. Also, the pump has a drain line installed, so it's easy to change the oil in your uh, water pump. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the inlet plumbing going to your TSF 2021 pump. This is one inch plumbing with the one inch can type line strainer. You also have a barb here where you would connect your one inch hose to run to your water tank. On a high volume machine like this, you don't have the option of running off of a garden hose because no garden hose will produce enough water fast enough to stay up with it. So you have to use a water tank. This line is for antifreezing purposes. You can take a bucket of antifreeze, drop this down in to that bucket, and select this. And it allows you to pull right from there. 
then when you want to pull water, you go back into that position. Here on the end, you have the option to hook up two pressure hoses. If you note, there's two quick disconnects, one here and one here. You can run those to your hose reels for your two hoses. Either hose, you can operate using either hose or both. You can operate using four gallons a minute or eight gallons a minute if you opt. All you have to do is just leave one of the trigger guns turned off if you want to use one gun. Doesn't take any special hookups. Also, if you note down here, this is your bypass barb. You will hook your bypass hose here and run it back to your water tank. This is the back side of the machine. Here you can get a different look at those quick disconnects I was telling you about where you hook your hose up to run to your hose reel. This is your unloader valve. On this machine we utilize the YU2140. It's rated for up to 21 gallons a minute and up to 4,000 PSI. So as you can easily see, We've got plenty of overkill there, so you won't be overtaxing that unloader. Right here you see your high limit switch, which we've installed to act as a backup for the thermostat. It's strictly for safety's sake. If the thermostat should happen to fail for some reason, you have your high limit switch to back it up. This is your pop-off or safety relief valve. Should your pressure get too high, it pops off and relieves the pressure dumping the water on the ground until you can solve the problem. These flanges or for bolting the machine down to a trailer bed or whatever vehicle you decide to mount it in. This is the burner end of this machine. As you can see, it comes equipped with the Raycor fuel filter, moisture trapping bowl. It uses an Allenson igniter a Beckett ADC burner, your standard fuel pump, fuel solenoid, and blower motor. All of this is easy to get to and easy to work on. Again, your marine type battery box protects your battery and your ignition for the engine is located right here. Should you have any questions on this machine, please feel free to contact us at our toll-free number. That's 1-800-433-2113. This machine will also be found on the World Wide Web at www.powerwash.com. Thank you.